Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this look, so stay tuned. To begin, I'm priming with the Australis Primer, the original, which is silicon free. For my base, I'm using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, the oil-free one. I really, really like this because it's lightweight, looks like skin, and it looks like you're not even wearing anything. To conceal under the eyes, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I really like this. It's creamy, it's easy to blend, and I'm just dotting it under my eyes to cancel out just some of the darkness. Then with this Real Techniques flat brush, I'm then pushing the product into the skin and blending it into the tinted moisturizer. So I directly spray the same brush I used to apply it and then I'm just going to pat it into the area in which I want to set. I've decided that I want to highlight a few extra areas of my face, uh, which brings everything a little bit forward. I'm uh, just using a dotting motion, spraying the brush again with the setting spray and blending it into the foundation or the tinted moisturizer. Next I'm going to be bronzing up my face with the NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm going to be using a really big fluffy brush for this. I want a diffuse bronzed look, nothing too harsh. Everything needs to be properly blended so I'm just sweeping it on the cheek, under the cheekbones, temples and now I'm going to do my eyebrows. Taking the e.l.f. eyebrow kit with the Real Techniques angled eyebrow brush. I'm just going to fill them in, making sure that I get that right shape defined at the beginning and so that my arch is a little bit more defined. I need to cancel out some of the pigmentation on my eyelids, so I'm using the same concealer on my eyes and brushing that in with the, just a flat brush. And then I'm going to pat in this sort of highlight shade from Makeup Forever just so I can set it in place. Next I'm going with this sort of um, like cool tone brown colour with this Real Techniques fluffy brush. I'm just going to take this above my crease. For hooded eyes you need this to just be just slightly above the crease so that when you open your eyes you can actually see this. Um, yeah. Once it's diffusely been placed you then go in with a smaller precise brush and darken it up just on the outer corner. Um, and just slightly blending it up for more definition. I'm then bringing it down on the bottom lash line just to even everything up. Next with like a brassy brown copper shade I'm then going to be adding this again layering this over the outer corner in my crease and I'm using the same tiny little precise brush. Then with a clean Ecos Tools brush I'm then going to blend everything out. I'm going to warm up the area just above my crease with this Models Prefer Fluffy Brush and using little circular motions I'm just going to um, create a little bit more of a gradient effect. I'm then taking that same shade on the inner corner. I'm then moisturising my lips and then going to line my top of lash line with this Maybelline Studio Gel Liner. I'm using this Real Techniques sort of precise brush and then placing this just at the lash line. And then with any excess I'm just going to run it lightly over my bottom lash line just underneath and then just going to use this Rimmel um, Extra Lash Mascara which I really like because of the shape of the wand it really gets all your lashes. I'm using the MAC Pro Long Wear Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Anticipation and I'm just lining my lips with it first. It really helps when your lips are moisturised, you can actually um, have a nicer looking lip. And then I'm going over that with a Colour Drama Velvet Lip Pencil in Minimalist. Mm -hmm. 
Next I'm going in with a blush by Hourglass. This is called Dim Infusion and it's one of the um, ambient lighting blushes. I'm using my Real Techniques brush here and just tapping this over my cheekbones and just a little bit above my temples. Then I'm just taking it on an Eco Soul Fluffy brush and adding it just to the outer part of my eye to give a nice pink gradient effect. I'm next using the Savvy Classic Blush and I'm using this just as a top highlight um, because it does have a sheen to it and then I'm going to just add a bit of a Revlon lip gloss to my lips and there we have it I'm finished I really hope you liked the look and thanks for watching